the morning we can expect a similar conditions with some overcast skies, a marine layer that's moved into the valleys and some of the far valleys too, like Santa Clarita. You can expect to potentially wake up to some cloudy conditions there as well. Uh, as we head out in the Los Angeles area, we're going to stay pretty cool all the way until about 10 a.m. Then it's going to start to feel a little more mild and some of this cloud coverage is going to last maybe a little while longer for some spots today until we get closer between about 10 a.m. and lunchtime. Make and then sure if you're at the like, coastline, subscribe. even later than that, with some of the beaches again below. struggling to clear this afternoon, it's about 96 degrees. We'll see a little more cooling by the weekend, too. So I'll more on that in just a little bit. John, Irene, I'll send it back to you. OK, Brianna, thanks. In Empire, we're going to be anywhere from some upper 80s to some low 90s. If you're at the beaches, we're going to be about 72. Some will probably struggle to see some sunshine today. 77 for the mountains, 96, pretty warm for the high desert and a very hot 107 degrees for the Palm Springs area. We have some more cooling in store for the weekend. We'll talk more about that in just a little bit. John. Speaking of taking a look at Hollywood Boulevard, everything's looking pretty nice and quiet out there at the moment. Temperatures today, we're dropping it off a little bit, so it's going to cool off a couple degrees. I know some interior spots, it's been a little just slightly too warm lately, uh, and hopefully today we're going to start to get into some territory where it won't be feeling that way. It'll be warm, but hopefully not too warm for you. We have the marine layer back in place. It's moved far inland, so if you're in some of the far valleys like Santa Clarita, you'll probably wake up to some cloudy conditions today as well, and it looks like that cloud coverage might last a little while today, and if you're at some of the beaches, we might stay cloudy again today, so a few of them might stay socked in for the day today. So it's a forecast similar to late June, early July, where along the coast we have temperatures closer to the coastline, a couple degrees below average, and then further inland a couple degrees above average. So we're kind of on either side of normal, and the marine layer is helping with some of that. Degrees 56 over in Pasadena. 60 in Chino Hills, kind of that time of year now where we have the cool temperatures as you step out the door in the morning and then it's warm in the afternoon. So layers, a good idea for the rest of the week because it's going to be this pattern on repeat for uh, pretty much all the way in to the weekend. Our temperatures in the afternoon are going to be changing a little more. I'll get to that in just a moment. Now we have a high pressure out to the east of us and we have a trough to the west. So we're going to stay in between these two. We're not going to see too many changes quite yet, although we're cooling off a couple degrees today. Depending where you are, we're either going to cool it off a degree or two tomorrow or warm it up as we head into your Thursday. And then Friday should be pretty similar. We shouldn't see too many changes then. Then we head into the weekend and we have this nice trough along the coast and that's going to really begin to drop some temperatures just by a couple degrees once again, and it will push that marine layer uh, in as well. So to low 90s the next few days. So today we're cooling it off a couple degrees. We might warm it up about one or two Thursday into Friday. Then this weekend we have temperatures in the mid 80s. Next week we do get back to 90 though. So depending where these again as that high pressure builds in next week too, we'll probably have some of those winds pick up as well. John, Irene, I'll send it back to you. Okay, Brianna, thank you.